is a lovely sunny day and Pepper and George are riding their bicycles. That's a fine pumpkin, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is very proud of his pumpkin. Pumpkins are the only thing I can grow. Probably because I love pumpkin pie. Come on, George. Daddy, Susie, Rebecca. Pepper and her friends Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Rebecca Rabbit are riding their bicycles. George is riding his tricycle. He's going so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. <coughs> Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Peppa. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. Well, yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilizers. I can ride without my stabilizers. <laughs> me too. And me. <laughs> Let's ride up the hill again. <laughs> Are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilizers on her bicycle. Daddy, I don't want stabilizers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes. All right, Peppa. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? You've never done it before. I can do it. I can't. I can't. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go. Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry. I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilizers. Daddy, you let go. <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilizers anymore. <coughs> look at me. Hooray. <laughs> Reach you to Daddy's pumpkin. <laughs> Peppa, look out, my pumpkin. I'm going to win. Peppa isn't looking where she is going. Ah! Oh dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are okay. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. Anyway... Now the pumpkin is broken, I can make it into pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. And because Daddy Pig's pumpkin is so big, there will be enough pumpkin pie for everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Secret. Mummy Pig has made a special box for Peppa. Peppa, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Peppa. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you, 
or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Pepper. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Pepper is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Pepper's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <laughs> George thinks Pepper has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George! You always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Pepper's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Pepper. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> your glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. Okay. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Pepper likes secrets. Bobby, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Pepper would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Pepper does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. Okay, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One. Two, three. George has a drum, and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> oh, lovely! Yes, it sounds very nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Pepper's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Pepper, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig all like custard donuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard donut. Can you guess where? Hmm. Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Hmm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Flying a kite. It is a bright sunny day. Pepper and her family are in the park. They are going to fly a kite. <laughs> George is going to fly the kite first. George runs as fast as he can, but the kite won't fly. George, you're doing it all wrong. You didn't run fast enough. Now it's my turn. Pepper runs as fast as she can, <laughs> but the kite still won't fly. The kite won't fly if there isn't any wind, no matter how fast you run. Oh. 
We just have to wait until the wind picks up a bit. Uh. Look! It's getting windy! Now that it is windy, the kite can fly. <laughs> the wind is quite strong now. The wind is very strong now. George! <laughs> wow! Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. Hooray! <laughs> higher, higher! <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. <gasps> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh no! Oh! Don't worry, George. Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! Uh, yes. Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Shall we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense. I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa! Oh dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> And I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles is just as much fun as flying the kite.